<laughs> you time me now, huh? Okay, ready and go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, and go. go. Yes, yes, 16. yes, yes, 16. 16. Uh, I'm Darren and we are the owners of uh, Butternut. Been here four years already. Uh, we just recently opened uh, AM Zexi, uh, Ang Mo Zicha. We opened on the 5th of May, uh, just before the COVID uh, heightened alert. One thing special, unique about us is that we do Rosti. La. So we are trying to do something like Ang Mo take on Zicha. So from my understanding, Zicha is a family sharing dish. So that's why we also have big dishes like uh, salmon, beef, all in a big sharing dishes style. And we also have flavoured rice, Portuguese flavoured rice, because uh, this time around I want to hero my, my heritage. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm uh, fifth generation Portuguese descent. Uh, so when, when people come, see see article, then they see my name, eh, why the boss look Malay or Indian or Filipino, but eh, the boss here, the name is like Amor name. <laughs> so all the food we start is because we like it ourselves and we find it very leche to travel, like, out of Jurong to go and have it. So I thought like, why not just do it here? Oh. Simple, why is Zita? Uh, because Butternut has been here for four years. So there are days when downstairs no business. Then I will see, eh, wow, it's so, it's so busy upstairs. So I come out and take a look, then I see there's a lot of zicha stalls. I, I told myself, hey, if someday I get a chance to come up and do something related to zicha. So basically, zicha is like fast, uh, family sharing dishes. And then we put in our own spin. Uh, we give it like a Western style. So the idea is basically like, imagine if I, I'm like the Ang Mo that come down all the way from, from somewhere, la, you know, on the West side, uh, I mean, in Europe or what. Then I'm thinking, hey, I can only cook. What am I going to cook? So I'm going to adapt to the local market here. So this is what I have in my head. Lah. Yeah. Then that's, that's how, how it's born, lah, the Amor Zicha. Lah. The signboard also a bit cheeky, you know, like people are curious, what is Amor Zicha? And then uh, some of you, uh, we are selling Rosti, which is not common in the West. And then I get a lot of customers here, the demographic asking me, Ati, ah, this is Sissi Mi. Ah. Then I got to explain to them. Uh, so I'll tell them that uh, it is uh, Ang Mo e Kantang, Kitian. Uh, not the Chinese version of, of the dish, I would say it's like a Rui Si De Ma Ling Su Jian Bing. So, Zicha also there's two categories. Uh, yes. Chu Liao and Yu Liao. Chu Liao is those kind of like hot fun, mi fen. Uh, so, Yu Liao is like this kind. Mm -hmm. Like what they sell, the sweet and sour pork. Ha, the half jong dai, big dishes, and you just order like five, six rice to share, right? So basically, like if you order baby kailan, so our instead of baby kailan is our saute mushroom chop. Yeah. So instead of half jong dai is our chicken chop. So instead of our fish, then we have salmon. So it's basically really a kind of stuff. Our proteins, uh, the chicken chop, the salmon, they are they are not like grilled uh, or fried. So it's uh, basically baked because. Uh, I think it's like a healthier choice, uh. a healthier choice. Uh, all, all the oil just flow out of the pan and then you get crispy crust for the chicken chop and your salmon, you can, you don't get dry salmon. Uh. Because when you bake, you bake it at the, we know how to bake our salmon. Uh. So we bake it in a way that the salmon just melts in your mouth and it's like so, oh, so nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so basically we get a healthier version of Rossi. So Rossi yeah. usually eat with smoked salmon, right? Yeah. So instead also, of the is the real salmon. You're thinking like why not? Uh? And bake salmon. Cut down on the, Cut down the processed food. Yeah. Uh, because all the food here is like Chinese, Chinese say, uh, sen chen zu, sen chen chi, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, so good. Long. When COVID HA happened, then all of us have to deal with the HBL school thing. Yeah. So it's quite stressful also. And then all, all the homework needs to have parent involvement. 
we can't really be there and then we can lock in for them though but sometimes they cannot get through then i just i never mind i just absent oh. for the day oh. then staff also they got hbl yeah. so sometimes my staff have to bring so his ipad, ipad to lock oh. in the remote lock in for his kid at that particular timing for working so, for throwing mushrooms <laughs> yes you lock in this way <laughs> Oh, crazy. Uh, I would like to say for all the, most of them are warm supporters from Butternut. They know us already. So they come. So, and then also for the new ones, they see the online artic articles and all this. So uh, I want to say thank you because uh, they know we are new. There's always room for improvements. And thank you for their understanding and patience. Yeah, for all this, majority of them are, are fantastic. And, yeah, apologies yeah. for the long waiting time and thank you for waiting. And uh, <laughs> if we, our ops is settled, our days are open more, we will open our pre-order yes. uh, link as well. Deliver so island wide. Stay tuned uh, with our FB pages for both ah, stores. Follow our pages, follow we will update. FB we are very active page. on our Instagram and Facebook page. Yeah. We will update. Even if like, not enough manpower, I say tomorrow close, I will update one. Yeah, he will update yeah. down to what time he comes down and do potato, he will update. Yeah. 7am, I'm at the store. And at what time he closed the store, he was there. 12 a.m. I'm leaving the store. So yes, we are very media savvy. We are home in media everyone. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you.